and actually find it. So besides using things like weak video signal and RSSI, which I also used to help guide me in that direction. Let's take a look at some of the free things and then some of the things that you can buy right now. So one of the first things we can do for free is we can actually go into Betaflight and configure a switch with a buzzer. You can do this with Betaflight, Raceflight, pretty much anybody. They all, all most boards either have a buzzer built in or they will accept a five volt buzzer. You just go in and assign it to a switch. Now, some people are into racing or long range like myself, and we tried to keep our quads as light as possible. So we skipped the buzzers. So the next thing that we can do, which is absolutely free, and easy to do is configure a beacon in BL Heli configurator. So our ESCs will beep when they don't receive a signal for a defined amount of time. I tip my hat to Project Blue Falcon because he was a guy that first put a video up on this. I don't see very many people talking about it. I'm not sure if many people even know about it or use it, but this is how I found my quad in the beginning of the video when you saw it going to the corn. I've also found it a few other times when it's been either behind structures or in some soybean fields. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the configurator open as well as make sure that you have Betaflight closed because if not the quad will seem to want to connect Betaflight versus the actual configurator. So with all your props off and battery unplugged, what you want to do is just plug in the quad. So the quad's plugged in, I'm going to click on connect, and now it is going to want us to hook up a battery. So we're going to hook up our battery, we're going to click on read setup, and it is going to pull all the information from our ESCs. Now if you look right over here, you will see beep strength, beacon strength, and beacon delay. Beep strength is just the actual volume of when you turn on your quad, how loud those beeps are. Beacon strength is how loud the actual alert beacon will go whenever you turn on the beacon delay. Now, I usually set mine for five minutes. You can set yours for however you want to. Uh, I'm gonna put it at one minute here just for time's sake your strength somewhere between 100 and 150 is usually pretty good you don't want to crank it all the way up because your ESCs will actually they can get ruined by beeping too loud so just kind of play around with this a few times and see how loud you think it is and if you think your ESCs sound normal and that they're not like tinny and crushing whenever the actual beacon is going off. What I like to do is basically set this beacon, put my quad down outside, walk around the back side of the house, something like that, upstairs, downstairs, whatever, and just see how loud it actually is to see if that meets your needs. So now that a minute has passed, you can hear the beacon going off. And I'm actually going to unplug there. Now, of course, this only works if your battery does not come disconnected. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Mount your batteries really good. Make sure the straps are nice and tight and that you're using some kind of material to keep them from flying off upon impact. So now let's get into these devices that you can actually hook to your quads. Long time ago, there was a Kickstarter named Tile. I picked up a couple of these. I never really found them quite usable. Their range was really limited. They run off Bluetooth. I don't know if they've improved any over the time, so I can't really recommend them. It says here that the range is two times what it used to be and the sound was two times louder. Um, I could barely hear mine even with it sitting with me in the room, not even hidden. So can't recommend the tile. Maybe some other people have had some better experiences. 
What I can recommend is this right here, which is called the Locator with an 8. And this is the new version called the Locator Lite. I had the old version, which basically was the same thing. It's, it's like an RF tag that you would just hang somewhere on your quad or plane. These run off of little watch batteries and it comes with a little remote right there and you, you can add up to four tags per remote. I think you could probably do more, but you can just kind of assign them differently. Um, but this thing's great. Uh, whether your quad is buried, mine was buried in beans when I actually used my locator uh, years ago to actually find it. And as long as you are running DVR or something and you have a general idea, this 400 to 500 foot uh, mark right here uh, with it says clear line of sight. Like I said, I was in beans and this really just starts off with helping you get a good direction. And as you get closer to the quad, of course, these lights here will go from red to yellow to green and eventually take you right to it where you'll actually hear this beeping and you only get like a little pulsating light. So for visual use, it's definitely not handy, but this thing works and that's why I am going to recommend it. Recently at ReadyMade RC FPV Fest 2017, they handed these board things out to us from GoFly RC, which are a low voltage indicator and interchangeable colored LEDs. The straps on, plugs into your balance port, and the alarm, voltage alarm on this thing is super loud. Uh, the, bright, the lights are also super bright. Uh, you just run your Velcro strap through it. You could mount it this way or upside down if you're doing uh, top mount. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the big thing about this is if you're a gram counter is it does weigh 26 grams. But, you know, the buzzer alarm here, 170 dB, it is definitely loud. Uh, it, and for night racing, it made the whole process just so much faster because we could all see and hear exactly where our quads were in tall grass. If I would have had this on my quad that I lost into the corn, I probably would have found it a little bit faster than just using the ESC beacon alone. 